Okay, the final category is the published, unpublished, other. And my first vote goes with the Heavy Metal 300 cover by Claudia Lanasiello in the collection of Jason Coates. Classic Tarna on a new Heavy Metal cover. It's a great mix of heavy and light pencils, and Tarna staring directly at the viewer sets this piece apart from the crowd. My next vote went with the The Batcave Revealed by Dick Sprang in the collection of Alex Johnson. I've always loved exploded and or cutaway view drawings, and this piece is just one of those and it looks great this back cave layout has all of those elements having the grid on here i think actually adds to the piece and i really like it for that that grid is it's probably one of my favorite elements of the piece my next vote goes with this tetsuo illustration by ian bertram in the collection of jason k Ian Bertram is another artist that absolutely goes wild with his commissions. He is in the same class as Jeremy Bastian. I'm not familiar with this character or the story, but it doesn't affect my appreciation for just how absolutely bat crazy this piece is. My next vote is for this Mad 291 Spy vs. Spy by Bob Clark in the collection of Michael McIsaac. Who doesn't love a good Spy vs. Spy strip? Complete stories are becoming more desirable in the hobby, but the great one-pagers have been around for ages. This page has such a great wall appeal that's going to be appreciated by anyone of any age. And finally, last, but certainly not least, one of my favorite pieces in the entire collection of entries for 2021 is this piece entitled Sleep by Dave Palumbo in the collection of Mike Parkinson. This piece is just an absolute, absolute beauty and it would definitely be a contender for my best of overall category for 2021 all right folks that's going to wrap it up i hope you enjoyed these videos if you haven't checked out the calf best of head on over to comicartfans.com check out those entries and a ton of other original comic art thank you for watching